hello everyone welcome back to my channel and thanks for subscribing to my channel today i'm going to start a new laravel course for beginners which i will cover all the basic steps and slowly move to ad more advanced features so hope you enjoy the videos and like the videos and please don't forget to press the subscribe button to get notified when the new the new lectures have been released uh, so First of all, let's download the composer. This is the link. I will put this also in the description. And after uh, composer uh, in Windows machine, we need to use ZAMP. So this is the link of ZAMP. You ha guys have to download. I'm not going to download because I have already installed these in my system. Uh, and in the last, we need MySQL Workbench. Uh, click here and you can it will be download and installed after uh, installing all three uh, we have to create our laravel project by going in our folder and writing cmd in here we have to write composer create project dash dash prefer this laravel slash laravel and in the at the end you have to write your uh, project name let's say i will write here my first project and hit enter it will take a few seconds to download so i'm going to pause the video so the installation is finished now we can close our command and our project is ready let's open our vs code so let's right click show more options open with code okay our uh, this code is opened and ins inside it our project is open uh, first thing we uh, have to do in a newly created project is to set up our database to do that we have to go to dot env and in here which is written db database we have to write our database name so i'm going to write uh, first db and the uh, username by default it's root and password is empty so now let's uh, start our zamp server let's click and only start apache and mysql so start and start so these two are have been started now let's open terminal in here and let's type php php artisan migrate hit enter the first time uh, when you run this command it will ask you that the database is not does not exist would you like to create it just type here yes and hit enter again now our database also is created and inside that it created a user table password reset table field jobs and personal access token now let's open our uh, mysql workbench to see our database so in here type mysql and mysql workbench will come open it click on root and as you guys can see my database has been created with the tables so now let's go to our vs code back and uh, let's uh, run our uh, laravel project to do that we have to write here php artisan serve and it enter so our laravel project is running let's hold control and click on this link now it's opened this is uh, our laravel project which you can see the version is 10.3.3 and it's running okay so let's go and create a new route to create a route we have a folder in here inside that we have web.php if you guys are uh, 
just started with the Laravel and don't know anything yet uh, the route is for example when the user uh, clicks right here something like home or welcome or index anything that the user types in the URL that's uh, all of them are controlled in the route basically it, it says that if it, this URL comes where the user should get redirected or in which controller or which view should be shown everything is controlled in the in here so now let's create a basic route for example I will say here route gate hello and the it will take two parameters one is the route or the, most people that say URL and another is callback function so I will write here a function and I will return a b c so let's uh, copy this and paste it here as you guys can see it show our text there are multiple types of route which is gate post port delete uh, we will cover all of them one by one in this uh, course thanks a lot for watching and please don't forget to press the subscribe button and see you guys in the next video